What if I told you that everything you thought you knew about GPT-4 was wrong? That's right. In March, OpenAI finally unveiled GPT-4, a next-generation large language model that was lauded as a major breakthrough in AI. Rumors and speculations have been circulating for over a year, hyping it up to be an unparalleled marvel with trillions of parameters and the next best thing that the world has ever seen. However, the reality behind GPT-4's true nature is shrouded in secrecy. OpenAI has been unusually tight-lipped about its specifics, making it the most mysterious release from the company to date. When asked about the model, Ilya Sutskeva, OpenAI's chief scientist said, that's something that, you know, we really can't comment on at this time. It's pretty competitive out there. And as it turns out, reality is often not what it seems. In this video, we're going to uncover the secrets behind GPT-4's architecture and why it's causing quite a stir in the AI community. But to understand the significance of GPT-4, let's take a moment to revisit its predecessor, GPT-3. In 2020, OpenAI's GPT-3 took the world by storm, showcasing a glimpse of the true potential of AI-powered large language models. It boasted a colossal 175 billion parameters, enabling it to generate impressively coherent and human-like responses. The sheer size of trainable parameters in GPT-3 was 10 times more than any previous model out there. In general, the more parameters a model has, the more data is required to train the model. As per the creators, the GPT-3 model has been trained on about 45 terabytes text data from multiple sources, including Wikipedia and books. This positioned it as a groundbreaking milestone in AI. Since then, the AI community eagerly awaited the release of GPT-4, brimming with anticipation for the next leap forward in language models. When OpenAI finally lifted the veil, the AI community collectively hailed it as a true game-changer in the field. GPT-4 demonstrated improved reliability, creativity, and even intelligence. It can generate extensive amounts of text, enough to write an entire book, code in multiple programming languages, and most remarkably, understand images, meaning that it's able, for instance, to describe the contents of a photo or a chart. Relative to other programs, GPT-4 also performs better on standardized tests and other benchmarks, boasting an impressive SAT score of 1,410 out of 1,600 and jumping to the top 10% of performers on a simulated bar exam. Now let's examine a trend that the company observed with its previous models. GPT-2 outperformed GPT-1 due to its larger size, featuring 1.5 billion parameters compared to GPT-1's 120,000. Naturally, GPT-3 outperformed GPT-2 by featuring a staggering 175 billion parameters. Given this pattern, one might naturally assume that the superior performance of GPT-4 can be attributed to its larger model size and increased parameter count. Jakub Pachocki, one of GPT-4's developers, says the fundamental formula has not really changed much for years, but it's still like building a spaceship where you need to get all these little components right and make sure none of it breaks. Yet OpenAI chose to keep the specifics of GPT-4 under tight wraps. Not the data, not the architecture, not the training technique, dataset construction, computing power, nothing leaving us all wondering why they were so secretive about their prize creation. This secrecy has left many scientists and AI enthusiasts wondering about the true nature of GPT-4 and whether OpenAI's technology is so advanced that they can't disclose it. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman famously stated on the potential size of the GPT-4 model that people are begging to be disappointed, and they will be. And as it turns out, he was right. This veil of secrecy surrounding GPT-4 has left the AI community intrigued and eager to uncover the truth. The whispers about its clandestine nature first surfaced when George Hotz, a renowned figure in the tech industry, notorious for his hacking and software engineering expertise, hinted at the architectural nature of GPT-4 during a discussion on the Latent Space podcast. According to Hotz's speculations, GPT-4 is not a monolithic giant, but rather a collective of specialized models. The implications of this leak have sparked intense curiosity among enthusiasts and experts alike. Hotz shed more light on the matter, stating, well, okay, so GPT-4 is 220 billion in each head, and then it's an eight-way mixture model. So mixture models are what you do when you're out of ideas. They just train the same model eight times, and then they have some little trick. Such a revelation sent shockwaves throughout the field, leaving enthusiasts and experts eager to delve deeper. The speculation gained further credibility when Sumith Chintala, the co-founder of PyTorch at Meta, openly acknowledged the murmurs that had circulated in more hushed tones. In a tweet, he said, Info like this is passed around, but no one wants to say it out loud. Glad that Geohot said it out loud. 
Now here's where things get really interesting. We've been hearing all these explicit claims, but they're not actually coming from people who work at OpenAI. These claims are from external sources, which still hold weight. But let's dive deeper. One notable figure who can provide valuable insights into GPT-4 is Mikhail Parakin, the Bing AI lead. He's as close as you can get to GPT-4 without being part of the OpenAI team. And in a tweet, he also dropped hints that echoed the same notion about GPT-4. He tweeted, Currently, they are using a combination of several models. Creative and precise rely almost exclusively on various variants of GPT-4, while balanced is more tuned for speed and search-related tasks. According to these leaks, it turns out that GPT-4 is composed of eight separate models or experts, each with 220 billion parameters. OpenAI didn't actually build a single monolithic model with trillions of parameters. Instead, they used a technique called mixture of experts, which is basically a bunch of smaller models working together. These models are likely trained in parallel or distributed manners, with each focusing on distinct subsets of data or specialized tasks. This approach enables GPT-4 to tackle the vast diversity of language and knowledge it requires to master its domain, like a team of specialists working together to tackle different challenges. Variants like Creative and Precise bring their A-game to specific tasks, while Balance takes charge of speedy searches. It's like having a dream team of language models, each with its own unique skills. This approach allows GPT-4 to cover a wide range of needs and deliver top-notch performance. These models work together, seamlessly passing information to one another, creating an incredibly powerful and flexible system. This architecture enables the models to leverage their strengths and compensate for each other's weaknesses. Imagine a scenario where you're asking chat GPT-4 a question about medical advice. Instead of relying solely on general language understanding, the system can tap into a dedicated medical model, ensuring that you receive accurate and reliable information tailored to your specific inquiry. The leaks further reveal intriguing details about GPT-4's training process, mentioning that it undergoes 16 ITA inference. During inference, the model's output is iteratively fed back into the model for 16 iterations, potentially refining the responses or generating more intricate predictions. Additionally, the leaks speculate that GPT-4 has been probably distilled to be more efficient. Model distillation is a process wherein a smaller and more resource-friendly model is trained to mimic the behavior of a larger and more complex model. This might have been used to enhance GPT-4's efficiency and applicability in real-world scenarios. While this puts the parameter count of GPT-4 at 1.76 trillion in total, the notable part is that all of these models don't work at the same time. Instead, they are deployed in a mixture of expert or MOE architecture. Frankly, the concept of mixture of experts is not new. It traces its origins back to 2021, when Google first implemented this technique. However, it's important to note that while MOE is a valid technique for discarding out of distribution responses and selecting the most likely answer, it does come with limitations. This approach may lobotomize the model's creativity, making it less suitable for tasks that require generating imaginative and unique responses. It might work well for a medical AI, but it may not be ideal for a creative writing AI. Interestingly, despite these limitations, GPT-4 appears to be much smarter than its predecessor, GPT-3. Users tend to prefer predictably robust responses over idiosyncratic creativity. This implies that GPT-4's focus on reliability and consistency is highly valued by users. Now this revelation might leave some feeling a tad underwhelmed. After all, we have been eagerly awaiting GPT-4 for three long years expecting a groundbreaking scientific achievement. However, it's important to delve deeper into what this means for the future of AI. The implication here is that GPT-4 may not be as powerful as initially perceived. A single model with billions of parameters would seemingly have more learning capacity than eight smaller models with 220 billion parameters. However, it seems that GPT-4's true innovation lies not in its sheer scale, compute power or data, but in the engineering ingenuity behind the mixture of experts technique. Indeed, there are also some advantages to using a combination of smaller models. Training eight smaller models is comparatively easier than training a single model with billions of parameters. Moreover, the specialization of these models for different tasks can potentially enhance their overall performance. But let's shift our gaze towards the future of AI. The fact that OpenAI has incorporated a technique implemented by Google two years ago raises thought-provoking questions about the state of the art in AI and the rate of progress. Are we facing a scarcity of novel ideas or scientific breakthroughs? It's something worth pondering. So GPT-4 may not meet some of our loftiest expectations, but that's okay because it's still the best language model in existence. And who knows, maybe one day we'll see a true trillion parameter model 
But for now, GPT-4 is pretty amazing. In the end, the revelation about GPT-4's architecture reminds us that AI is a complex and ever-evolving field. While we may not have witnessed the groundbreaking scientific achievement we anticipated, it's crucial to recognize that innovation in AI encompasses not only grand leaps forward, but also subtle advancements and clever engineering. Perhaps the future lies not solely in scaling up the parameters of models, but also in exploring alternative approaches and techniques that can unlock new realms of AI capabilities. So, let's keep our eyes open, remain curious, and be ready to embrace the unexpected as we embark on the exciting journey toward the future of AI. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more content.